Hello, Cancer. I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. This will be for June 7 through the 13th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just overall messages for the week, what the energies are, what do you guys need to know. I've already uploaded the monthlies and how your person feels towards you. So I'm going to start with the weeklies for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 7 through the 13th. Uh, as usual, there will be an extended. It's going to be the weekly love reading. For those that are interested, the link is in the description box below. All right, Cancer, type shuffles and we're going to start. One more, please. Wow. Queen of Cups. This may be you or the person here that you're connecting. Wow, we have two queens. Eight of Pentacles. Or someone is putting a lot of work and effort. Let's see what's going on. Waiting to hear from someone with a wish fulfillment. Okay. All right, let's see. The Six of Wands is very nice. Is being crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. It's King of Pentacles. Who had this? Was it Gemini? Taurus too. The Strength. <clears throat> the Hangman. Wow. The Eight of Wands. Very nice. The Three of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. The Two of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We have a pair. You and someone else here. Actually, it looks very good for you guys. Uh, a very good week. Um, we have two major arcanas, one in the past, one in your mind, but overall, I feel like it's like these daily things that are, you are progressing or you're going towards something positive. Let's start with the six of wands and the ace of pentacles. Um, it looks like it seems, or you're asking for this victory or you standing here in this victorious uh, recognition type of way. And it's coming because there's an opportunity. It may be, again, that uh, your overall situation here is that will I be victorious? Should I open the door? Should I get this chance? For some of you, it can be entrepreneurial. Both the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are two people that are looking to be established or are already established. You, are, you and someone else are mirroring each other very much when it comes to uh, common sense, grounded energy, it may be that you're married to this person or you want to create a life. But with the Six of Wands, overall, it looks like you are looking regarding the success, victory, and recognition. You also may be, you or someone here trying to get the attention. And the how in this situation, what can help or hinder is this potential opportunity. It is here, this chance. Uh, it's, it's looking as very practical, something that you can build on. So again, it's just an opportunity there. And it's going to make you feel like, okay, I did it or I'm getting here the recognition. So the door is open. Something very nice is being planted. And again, it's coming here with the King of Pentacles. At the root is this person. That's what the Celtic Cross spread here. When I, I read it always, I feel like, okay, this is a situation. Why is this happening? What uh, What is uh, the subconscious here uh, hidden? And is this King of Pentacles? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, it does not have to be, again, it can be someone here, as I mentioned, that you can see surrounded by wealth or, or is thinking about an establishment. Now, in the past, you had the strength card. We know that something here about pride, or again, you're always kind of wanting this, always with the strength card is someone here that wants something badly. But again, there's a little bit here of a taming energy, a wounded energy as well. But I feel like you got your power, or again, it looks like there was something here that you wanted, but you were resisting it. We will see what the clarifier is. I, I see you, you or someone else here as very much someone that has a lot of pride and a lot of uh, willpower. Now, in your thinking, in your mind, Cancer, you feel like I cannot do anything with uh, the hangman. You feel like the best situation right now is to wait it out and see. You feel like maybe again trying to look at different perspective. But there is fast, quick, swift news that is coming towards you with the Eight of Wands. For some of you, maybe traveling. For some of you, even if you think, oh, I have to wait. I, I feel like that's why I feel like it's a good week overall. Because it looks like something is about to happen. Something is about to change. With uh, both of these two individuals that are kind of, you know, a little bit passive grounded. Looking at things in a more uh, stable way. The Eight of Wands is Mercury in Sagittarius. So I feel like some type of swift news are coming in or that's the energy. Now, how you see yourself, 
your behavior for uh, this week is just going to be that you're putting something down here, manifesting, putting effort. Again, uh, this is Mars in Capricorn, very practical approach. You feel like, okay, what do I need to do here? What do I need to build? What do I need to manifest? It may be that you want to talk to someone, but I feel like overall is just building something stable. What you don't see external to you, the energies that surround you or a person, is that they feel very conflicted. This is a person that maybe their ego has gotten hurt here and they're trying to have the upper hand or a Again, they want something, but they're afraid here of what will be the consequences. Or in this situation, what do they need to defend? It's like someone that is planning here. It's it's not necessarily bad. We will see. But uh, watch out. If you are questioning this person as well, right now, they feel like they have to defend themselves. And they are just, I don't want to say plotting, but that's what they're kind of doing. Because they feel there's um, a defeat energy that surrounds them. Uh, what you're hoping for is that someone here, you or, you know, whoever you're connecting will make a choice with the two of wands. Whatever these two choices, it, it's like, remember I said, there's a wish fulfillment that someone they wanted to hear here, hear something. So you're hoping someone will make up their mind or this opportunity, this successful approach is going to come here towards you. Definitely you're waiting for a person to make a decision or you to kind of understand what's the best decision for you. And the Queen of Pentacles is your best possible outcome. Depending, again, um, who you're connecting with is saying is someone that matches you. Um, you know, there's a mirroring, as I, I mentioned here, very grounded energy. If you are the Queen of Pentacles, this success and this opportunity is going to bring here, again, the person that you mirror very well. All right, so let's see. We're going to clarify. The Ten of Cups, we had the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, there's something very beautiful uh, that you're manifesting, um, Cancer. What is the Six of Wands? One more. Wow, Judgment, okay. We're talking about some type of uh, renewal energy, second chances, or again, it's like the moment that finally you feel like this is my time uh, regarding a person or regarding here any type of establishment. As you can see, the Six of Wands is standing above everybody and is being admired. And the, the judgment is that calling here. Also, it feels like, again, again a divine moment. Um, something that, again, I feel like um, the universe here has for you. So it's all about success and renewal. Um, and second chances here. Very beautiful situation. This may be what you're asking for again. Is this a moment when it comes to a person or when it comes to your achievements? What is the Ace of Pentacles? One more. All right, the Six of Cups, Sun in Scorpio. Um, for some of you, again, with this, I'm getting something from the past, nostalgia, or a person here that you feel... It's your soulmate, someone that, you know, makes you feel really good. We have two sixes, uh, Leo and Scorpio, both fixed energy. And then we have Plutonian energy with a judgment. Something is coming to light here, an opportunity to be with someone as well. Or again, this harmonious energy, this soulmate connection. What is the night? Uh, I'm sorry, the night, the king of pentacles. One more. High Priestess. Okay, so that is something secretive here with this King of Pentacles. Someone here that you have a connection. There is a, a intuitive energy between the two of you. The King of Pentacles is realizing something very important. Again, this energy here is realizing what they want, what they want to come back, what they want to give a chance. It's like another kind of, um, another life with someone. But I'm, I'm getting, again, it's a big realization with the judgment and the high priestess regarding something that the king of pentacles has known on all along. Also, 
um, the king of pentacles is very attracted to the high priestess, believe it or not. Even astrologically, if we're looking at earth sign and Pisces, but also water sign, there's very nurturing energy. Uh, but I feel like this person is holding the knowledge here with the high, uh, the high priestess, the archetype. And that's what the king of pentacles is realizing. That is an epiphany. That is some type of truth coming in. What happened with the strength here? One more. Oh my goodness. The cards. <laughs> the King of Pentacles. Wanted to come again. Okay, definitely there was um, a separation or heartbreak. As I mentioned here, that wounded energy that is coming. Someone here is still in love. It still wants something. The, the strength card is lust to me. It's desire. But also is someone here that knows, maybe because of pride, maybe because of the wounded energy, is kind of, you know, holding more back. And it looks like the King of Pentacles is coming twice here uh, in this reading. So apparently it's very important. So again, there was a resistance, but it looks like maybe because, again, the person now feels like, okay, this is the moment. There's a chance. I want to give this a chance. But that's what happened in the past. Heartbreak, um, wounded energy, pride. Let's look at the hangman. One more. Yeah, you feel like you cannot act. You want to go towards this situation. You're waiting for that um, energy here, that chemistry, but the hangman tells me that's what it is. It's someone that wants to act quickly, wants to go after this situation passionately but um i you you don't see any type of especially from your point of view uh in this case unless you feel like okay the best situation is i have to get out of feeling self-sacrificing and go after what i want what is the eight of wands this is the immediate future here one more wow the eight of cups so Whoever has been, and the Eight of Cups I was get, uh, getting when I was pre-shuffling here, and the Seven of Pentacles, it, it looks like there's Eight and Eight, by the way, there. It looks like an energy that someone here is walking away from what does not work and thinking of a new positive way, overcoming obstacle, challenge, disappointment. So it's coming, again, as more action-oriented, the energy. Like someone feels like, okay, I'm, I don't want to dwell anymore on what doesn't work. I want to leave that behind. It may be that someone that you have withdrawn from, they're coming here with a message. All right, so you're looking at the Three of Pentacles in your behavior. You want to put effort and work. Maybe, again, you're concentrating on your work here. We will see. What is the Three of Pentacles? One more. Oh, I got too many. I'll get them, whatever. Remember the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups is coming in. There is a wish fulfillment that you have. There is something that you're working, you're thinking about this situation analytically here. Um, especially if you have been in the before, you have been a little bit more detached towards this person. So you're going to have such a practical approach, um, Cancer. Not only working on yourself, but also when it comes to this situation, you wish for it, you're waiting for a chance, you kind of want to find ways again how to work it out with the eight of pentacles a lot of effort um, when it comes to your work or this person what is the five of swords external to you one more the six of swords yes yeah, someone is not moving on they feel conflicted they're still feel hurt or there's a sense of guilt or wanting here um, something but at the same time the six of swords and the hangman came twice here so again to me with the five of swords is someone that is conflicted of letting go or acting like they have moved on but they to me it's like still holding they may also have a problem if you are not being active anymore or pursuing this situation and it looks like they want to do something here to kind of bring you back what is the two of wands? What is the two of wands? One more. Oh, wow. Whatever this stuckness, uh, captive, 
fear, you just, again, you're hoping that someone finally will get out. If you're not communicating, if someone here is not being very, you have three eights, by the way, here, guys. The eight of cups, the eight of wands, and the eight of swords. And the eight of pentacles. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's what you're hoping for, that a decision of whoever is stuck between these two choices or has not yet, you know, made up their mind. You're hoping that someone will finally decide. And it may be you towards the person. Let's see the queen of pentacles. We're going to pick two cards for the queen of pentacles and see. One more. Wow, the Ace of Cups. One more. The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun. The outcome is very beautiful for you guys. It's all about love. Remember this news. Now, I always say the Eight of Cups to me is that wish fulfillment, going after wish fulfillment or going out the specific cup. All these emotions, all these fantasy versus reality. So again, I feel like someone is ready to open up. It's coming with a beautiful energy. The sun is someone that is open with the ace of swords, very much clarity. Whatever the blockage is, it looks like the queen of pentacles is the answer here. Someone that is very grounded, is open, receptive, ready here to tell the truth, ready to open up and express themselves. New ideas for some of you if you're doing if this is something creative or, or entrepreneurial as well, the best situation here is the Queen of Pentacles. She or he knows here. And especially if you're collaborating with someone here uh, that matches that energy for you. But uh, you have love. You have news, uh, quick, swift, important news that bring happiness um, to you, Cancer. Very, very beautiful energy. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Uh, as usual, we'll see what's going on with your love life in the extended. Thank you. Bye-bye.